All right, all right, all right. You guys know what time it is. It's Ned Voyage presentation. Summer's around the corner and you know what that means. Time to ditch the daily grind and jet set to somewhere new. We're talking about those epic summer trips, the ones you brag about for years. You know, the ones where you come back with a tan, a thousand photos, and maybe a slightly questionable tattoo? Yeah, those trips. But hold up a second. Planning a trip can be a real drag. Sifting through a million websites, trying to figure out where to go, what to see. Who's got time for that? Well, stress no more, my friends, because today we're serving up 10 killer city breaks that are guaranteed to make your summer one for the books. So buckle up, grab your passport, and let's get this show on the road. First up, we're hitting up the City of Lights, the City of Love Paris, baby. This city is pure magic with its cobblestone streets, charming cafes, and that iconic Eiffel Tower piercing the sky. Speaking of the Eiffel Tower, you gotta see this thing in person. Seriously, pictures don't do it justice. Imagine standing right beneath it, its iron latticework soaring above you. It's enough to make you believe in love at first sight. And speaking of love, Paris is full of cozy little cafes where you can sip espresso, nibble on a croissant, and watch the world go by. Find a table outside, soak up the sun, and just breathe in that Parisian air. Oh, and if you're lucky enough to be in Paris on July 14th, get ready for Bastille Day. It's a massive celebration with parades, fireworks, and enough excitement to make you feel like you're part of the French Revolution. Vive la France! Next up, we're hopping on a plane and jetting across the globe to the land of the rising sun, Tokyo, Japan. Get ready for a sensory overload because this city is like nothing you've ever seen. First things first, you gotta experience the insanity that is Shibuya Crossing. Imagine Times Square on steroids, that's Shibuya. Thousands of people crossing from all directions, giant video screens flashing, and a symphony of sounds. It's pure chaos, and it's absolutely exhilarating. But don't let the hustle and bustle fool you. Tokyo also has a peaceful side. Find a quiet garden, visit a serene temple, or escape the city for a day trip to Mount Fuji. And of course, we can't forget about the food. Tokyo is a sushi lover's paradise, with everything from Michelin-starred restaurants to tiny hole-in-the-wall spots serving up the freshest catches of the day. All right, we're hitting the ground running for number three, and it's none other than the city that never sleeps, New York City. This place is a living, breathing entity, constantly in motion, and it's got a vibe that's unmatched anywhere else in the world. You know, the one with all the yellow cabs and that big green park in the middle? Yeah, that's the one. Central Park is like the lungs of the city, offering a breath of fresh air amidst the concrete and steel. It's a place where you can escape the hustle and bustle even if just for a moment. Summer in the city is a whole different animal, man. The energy is electric. Everyone's out and about soaking up the sun and the streets are buzzing 24 7. The sidewalks are packed with people from all walks of life, each with their own story, their own destination. It's a melting pot of cultures and you can feel the pulse of the city in every step you take. It's the kind of place where you can grab a bagel and coffee on the go and stumble upon a street performer juggling chainsaws while you eat it. No joke. These performers are the heartbeat of the city, adding a layer of unpredictability and excitement to your daily routine. You never know what you might see next. And speaking of food, let's not forget the street food scene. It's a culinary adventure waiting to happen. You can find food from every corner of the globe, right here on the streets of New York. From hot dogs to halal carts, pizza by the slice to those giant pretzels, New York's got your cravings covered. Each bite is a taste of the city's diverse culture, and every vendor has their own unique twist on classic dishes. You can literally travel the world through your taste buds without ever leaving the island of Manhattan. It's like a global food tour, all within a few city blocks. Whether you're in the mood for something spicy, sweet, or savory, there's a vendor ready to serve up something amazing. But for real, one of the best things about summer in NYC is catching an outdoor concert in Central Park. It's an experience that combines the best of nature and culture right in the heart of the city. Picture this, you're sprawled out on the grass, the sun setting behind the skyline, and some bands playing your favorite tunes. The atmosphere is electric, and you can feel the collective energy of the crowd as everyone comes together to enjoy the music. It's like something out of a movie, only better because you're actually living it. The combination of the city's iconic skyline, 
The natural beauty of the park and the live music creates a magical experience that stays with you long after the concert ends. It's moments like these that make New York City truly unforgettable. All right, let's jet set over to Europe for number four, landing in the vibrant city of Barcelona, Spain. This place is like a dream come true. Stunning architecture, delicious food, beaches, nightlife, you name it, Barcelona's got it. First up, you gotta visit La Sagrada Familia, that crazy cathedral designed by Antoni Gaudi. I'm talking intricate details, towering spires, and a style that's unlike anything you've ever seen before. It's been under construction for over a century. Talk about dedication, right? But Barcelona's beauty goes beyond just La Sagrada Familia. The whole city is a feast for the eyes, with its colorful buildings, charming alleyways, and that unmistakable Spanish flair. You can literally spend hours just wandering around, getting lost in the beauty of it all. And when you're ready for a bite, head to one of the countless tapas bars scattered across the city. These little plates of deliciousness are perfect for sharing with friends. And let me tell you, the variety is mind-blowing. From patatas bravas to gambas al ajillo, your taste buds are in for a serious treat. All right, we're heading to the eternal city for number five, Rome, Italy. This city is a treasure trove of history, culture, and culinary delights. Whether you're a history buff, an art lover, or a foodie, Rome has something for everyone. This city is a living museum with ancient ruins around every corner, breathtaking art, and let's not forget the food. Walking through the streets of Rome is like stepping back in time where every stone has a story to tell. I'm talking pasta, pizza, gelato, the works. The culinary scene here is second to none, with flavors that will tantalize your taste buds and leave you craving more. First things first, you gotta visit the Colosseum. This ancient amphitheater is a marvel of engineering and a testament to the grandeur of the Roman Empire. It's one of the most iconic landmarks in the world, and for good reason. The sheer size and scale of the Colosseum are awe-inspiring, and it's hard to believe it was built nearly 2,000 years ago. Standing in the middle of that massive amphitheater, you can almost hear the roar of the crowd and feel the gladiators battling it out. It's a visceral experience that brings history to life in a way that few other places can. It's a history lesson come to life. The interactive tours and exhibits make it easy to imagine what life was like during the height of the Roman Empire. But Rome is more than just ancient ruins. It's a city that has evolved over millennia, seamlessly blending the old with the new. It's a city that effortlessly blends the old and the new. Modern buildings stand side by side with ancient monuments, creating a unique and dynamic urban landscape. You can wander through the Pantheon, marvel at Michelangelo's masterpiece in the Sistine Chapel, and then grab a scoop or two of delicious gelato at a local gelateria. The art and architecture in Rome are simply unparalleled. And speaking of food, let's talk about the pasta. Roman cuisine is hearty and flavorful, with dishes that have been perfected over centuries. From carbonara to cacio e pepe, amatriciana to puttanesca, Rome is a pasta lover's paradise. And the best part? You can find incredible pasta dishes at every price point, from Michelin-starred restaurants to hole-in-the-wall trattorias. Whether you're dining in a high-end restaurant or a cozy neighborhood trattoria, the quality of the food is consistently excellent. The passion and pride that Romans have for their cuisine are evident in every bite. And it's not just the pasta. The local markets are brimming with fresh produce, meats, and cheeses, offering a true taste of Roman life. Exploring these markets is a feast for the senses, with vibrant colors, enticing aromas, and the lively chatter of vendors and shoppers. As you stroll along the Tiber River, you'll see historic buildings lining its banks, each with its own story to tell. The river has been the lifeblood of the city for centuries, and its presence adds to the timeless charm of Rome. And as the sun sets over the Roman skyline casting a golden glow over the city, you'll understand why Rome is called the Eternal City. Its beauty, history, and culture are truly timeless, making it a destination that will capture your heart and leave you longing to return. All right, we're heading down under to the land of sunshine, good vibes, and shrimp on the Barbie Sydney, Australia. This place is more than just kangaroos and koalas, all right? It's a city bursting with life, stunning architecture, and a coastline that'll make you wanna ditch your phone and just stare. First up, you gotta hit up the Sydney Opera House. Yeah, yeah, it's touristy, but for good reason. 
This architectural masterpiece is even more impressive in person. Catch a show, snap some pics for the gram, or just soak in the atmosphere. Trust me, it's worth the hype. Now let's talk food. Sydney is a seafood lover's paradise. Think fresh oysters, grilled barramundi, fish and chips by the beach. You name it, they got it. And don't even get me started on the coffee. Sydney takes their coffee seriously, so ditch the Starbucks and hit up a local cafe. You won't regret it. All right, let's hop on a plane and jet over to Europe, specifically to the land of canals, bikes, and, well, you know, Amsterdam. This city is like stepping into a postcard, with its charming canals, narrow houses, and a vibe that's both laid back and exciting. First things first, you gotta experience Amsterdam the way it was meant to be experienced, from the water. Hop on a canal cruise, rent a pedal boat, or if you're feeling adventurous, grab a paddleboard. Trust me, seeing the city from the water is a whole different experience. Now, Amsterdam is known for its, shall we say, relaxed laws. But don't let that fool you. This city is packed with history, culture, and some of the friendliest locals you'll ever meet. Spend an afternoon wandering through the Albert Kuip Market, haggling for souvenirs and trying local delicacies. And speaking of local delicacies, you can't leave Amsterdam without trying Stroopwafels, Bitterballen, and of course, fries with all the sauces. All right, let's jump over to Germany, to a city that's seen it all, Berlin. This place is a whirlwind of history, art, and a gritty underground culture that'll leave you wanting more. First things first, you gotta visit the Brandenburg Gate. It's like the Eiffel Tower of Berlin, a must-see landmark that's even more impressive in person. Take a selfie, learn about its history, and just soak in the atmosphere of this iconic symbol of unity. Now let's talk about the Berlin Wall. It's a stark reminder of the city's divided past, but also a testament to its resilience and spirit. Walk or bike along the east side gallery, a preserved section of the wall transformed into an open-air art gallery. And speaking of art, Berlin is an art lover's paradise. From world-renowned museums like the Museum Island to edgy street art in Friedrichshain, there's something to inspire everyone. But hey, we're just scratching the surface here. All right, we're hopping across the map to Lisbon, Portugal for number nine. This city is a blend of old world charm and modern vibrancy, and there's no better way to experience it than by riding one of its most iconic trams. This city is all about those chilled out vibes, and what better way to soak them up than on a vintage tram ride? Imagine the gentle sway of the tram as it navigates the winding streets, the sound of the bell ringing, and the hum of the city in the background. I'm talking about Tram 28, the iconic yellow car that rattles through Lisbon's oldest neighborhoods. This tram is more than just a mode of transport. It's a moving piece of history, a symbol of the city's enduring spirit. This ain't your average commute, people. It's an adventure, a journey through time and space, where every turn reveals a new story, a new facet of Lisbon's rich cultural tapestry. It's a front row seat to history, winding through narrow cobblestone streets, past pastel-colored buildings covered in those intricate azulejo tiles. These tiles are not just decorative, they tell the story of the city, each one a piece of the larger mosaic that is Lisbon. You're literally traveling back in time, with the clang of the tram bell being your only reminder that it's 2024. The tram's wooden interiors and vintage fittings add to the nostalgic feel, making you feel like you've stepped into a different era. And you know me, I gotta capture everything. The cityscape from the tram window is like a living postcard, each frame a perfect snapshot of Lisbon's charm. So I'm hanging out the window, filming with one hand, holding onto my phone for dear life with the other. The tram's bumps and jolts make it a challenge, but that's part of the fun, right? The things we do for the shot, right? But it's all worth it when you capture that perfect moment, the essence of the city in a single frame. But hey, I'm not complaining. This is what I live for, the thrill of the journey, the excitement of discovery, and the joy of capturing it all on camera. This is what travel is all about, experiencing a city in its rawest form, feeling the pulse of the streets, and getting lost in the moment. It's about immersing yourself in the local culture, seeing the world through the eyes of its residents. Plus, who doesn't love a good bumpy ride with a view? The tram's route offers some of the best views of the city, from its bustling markets to its serene parks, each one a testament to Lisbon's unique charm. Lisbon's Tram 28, put it on your list. It's not just a ride, it's an experience, a journey through the heart and soul of one of Europe's most enchanting cities.
So next time you're in Lisbon, hop on Tram 28 and let it take you on a ride you'll never forget. All right, we're wrapping up this epic top 10 list in the Golden State, baby. San Francisco, a city that needs no introduction, but trust me, you've never seen it like this. Forget the tour buses and hop on two wheels. That's right, we're renting bikes and hitting the pavement for an unforgettable ride across the Golden Gate Bridge. Now, I'm not gonna lie, those hills are no joke, but the views, man, the views make it all worth it. You've got the city skyline on one side, Alcatraz looming in the distance, and the vast Pacific Ocean stretching out before you. It's like something out of a movie, except it's real life, and you're living it. The wind in your hair, the sun on your face, the sound of the bridge's cables humming overhead. Pure magic. There you have it, folks. My top 10 city breaks for summer 2024. From the romantic streets of Paris to the vibrant energy of Tokyo, the iconic landmarks of New York City, to the laid-back vibes of Lisbon. These cities offer something for everyone. So what are you waiting for? Book that flight, pack your bags, and get ready for an unforgettable summer adventure. And hey, if you do decide to hit up any of these incredible destinations, be sure to tag me in your photos and videos. I love seeing your travel adventures. Until next time, keep exploring, keep dreaming, and keep living life to the fullest. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to Ned Voyage for more interesting content. Peace out.